When I start a video that says don't try this at home, I mean don't try this at home. <laughs> because I'm gonna make the most explosive way to wildflower your garden. Everything in this video has been done not by trained professionals, but under controlled circumstances. So don't try it. I don't Just want don't. to get in trouble, basically, so don't. And it all starts with a journey to try and find some fireworks. Little hint, that that's the bit that you shouldn't try at home. Let's go. So I know it's ridiculous, but I've never bought fireworks before. And so I feel like a lot of like, anxiety and um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's silly, isn't it? Oh, I've just got to get fireworks. I'm going to get, go to the supermarket. I'm outside one right now. I'm sure they do fireworks. Having failed at the supermarket, I had to then think about the anxiety of going to a fireworks shop. Now, I should have probably explained why I'm buying fireworks. And that's because I want to wildflower my garden and others in the most explosive way possible. And you might say, Hayley, what are wildflowers? Wildflowers are incredible well, flowers that attract insects by providing them with two rich sources of food, nectar and pollen. The nectar for them pollinators provides sugars, which gives them a great source of energy. A little bit like having an energy drink for us. As where the pollen contains all those proteins and oils and helps with something called pollination. Of course they don't do fireworks. Christmas, so I'm eating a turkey stuffing cranberry sandwich for breakfast. Which means I've got to go to an actual firework shop and speak to firework experts. Can you be a firework expert? I don't know. All I need is a rocket. Let me find the nearest firework shop. They are so easy to grow and you can buy them in packs like this. Loads in there. And yes, you can just sprinkle them over the soil and they'll do their thing. In fact, they're that easy to grow. You literally sprinkle them over, give it a good old fork, and leave them. Let the rain and the sun do all of the work. And then you'll get all your pollinators come into the garden. But I needed fireworks. As I pulled up to the fireworks shop, I was scared. I was worried. But I didn't need to be. I walked in to an empty shop. I mean, it was 10 in the morning on a Tuesday, so I don't know how many firework customers they get on a Tuesday morning, but there I was. And I was welcomed by a shop full of, well, fireworks. <laughs> Okay, let's look at what we've got. Got some. Look at them bad boys, all right? Some sparklers. And the pulsar. Okay, these are good, but not what we need. But these, these are exactly what we need. Now, this idea all came about because of an activity I do with children when I go to shows, and it's sea balls. They are incredible things to make and make great gifts. I'd love a gift of a seed ball. And you really don't need a lot to put it together. You need some peat-free compost. Keep it peat-free, please. You need some water, and you also need some mini meadow wildflowers. You can get these online, and I'll, I'll put the link in the description where I'll get mine from. Now, it can get really messy, so I've got a little spoon that you can mix it with. But basically, put in your compost, mix up your wildflower seeds into that, and then just add a little bit of water. Here's a little story for you. I once did this with Alan Titchmarsh on TV. Added a little bit too much water, but the professional that Alan Titchmarsh is, he just sort of covered it up. Just like nothing happened. Just like, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. True professional. Hello, Alan, if you're watching. So just add a little bit of water at a time. Mix it all together. It's a really messy one. And then you need to roll them into little balls. You let them dry out and then just throw them onto the ground. Now the best time to sow wildflowers is uh, between like March and April time to get some flowers in the summer or September, October, November. Then you'll get some early flowers the year after. And when them flowers grow, you'll get pollinators, bees, butterflies, Flies, not not flies. That would be. I mean, bees and butterflies sounds better than. Done it. You'll get bees. You'll get butterflies, and they will do the incredible job of pollination. Let me explain pollination to you with these handy bees. So this is my bee. These are my flowers. All right. The bee goes to one flower, and he's looking for nectar to get that energy source. Why is in there? 
He gets loads of pollen brush off onto him and off he flies. There he goes. He's, there he goes. This I'm is, sure I could explain this better, but anyway, off he goes. He flies to another flower. Stay with me on this one. This literally is pollination simplified. He gets some of the pollen from that flower, go on to that flower, which basically is pollination. I hope that's helped. Back to the fireworks. Now, me being someone that doesn't want to just make seed balls or just throw seed down on the ground, which probably would have been easier. I had my firework. Again, this is the bit. Don't do this at home. And with some pretty technical tools, I added the seeds to it. And when I say technical, I mean a prick stick and a firework. I, I, safety first, I did wear goggles. So all I did was I put some prick stick on the end of the firework, then I dipped it into the wildflower seeds and I let it dry. Now the idea is that as the rocket flies into the sky, boom, it will explode and those wildflower seeds will cover the ground below it. It's like the most extreme way to wildflower seed an area ever, I'd say. So I let the sun set and it was time to set off the very first wildflower seed rocket. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like it's gonna do like normal fireworks and all the yeah, little things go and then fall back down. Oh my god, it's so high. Okay, we're gonna watch a rocket explode, everyone. Woohoo! Okay, everyone, this will be insane. Let's watch this baby do its thing. Okay, I'll stand back near the office, everyone. What? Stand right back, okay? And my mum just wants to say to you until it goes on, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Because we would love you to. Come on, come on. Get ready. Whoa. Stand back, Cameron. Whoa. Whoa. That was insane. What did you think? That was amazing, but <laughs> Yeah. Don't want to light up England. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's going to take a few months for us to actually find out if this works because, you know, we, um, well, somewhere in the gardens around here, some wildflowers will pop up in 2023. And they'll go, oh, we didn't plant wildflowers. But I'll know and you'll know. And just think if everyone on New Year's Eve, bonfire night, and pretty much any time that someone uses a firework, if every firework held these wildflower seeds on the end, imagine the pollinators we could attract to our gardens, to our country, to the world. And so I say there should be a law that every firework holds wildflower seeds on the end. Probably. <laughs>